the default outcome for a startup is failure. So much is stacked against you. Working seven days, you know, sleeping three or four hours a night. Knowing you're gonna run out of money. Raising capital for anyone is a huge task. For two years, we couldn't do that. If we couldn't fix this, it was just a really uncertain future. The stereotype of a founder is very different to the reality that there is today. The opportunity for conventionally unlikely people to succeed is better than ever. We're trying to be the next tech unicorn of Australia. She wasn't young and 30 in ex-Harvard. When you take on 100 million, I try not to think about that too much. It's leaving a job to start something brand new from scratch, taking on these huge corporations. From that point on, you're free falling. The responsibility comes back to you. Step one, make sure your deck is beautifully graphically designed. She's got a flip card presentation. Because we were born on the internet, we are able to completely reimagine what it could be like. We're on a mission to make every home sustainable. Someone dies every 15 seconds around the world from a workplace incident. I wanted to do something about that. Our goal, our belief is to better all the world's decisions. Credit cards, mortgages, space flight. To build that muscle of being okay with failure. I'd never raised money and the money was running out. All our revenue overnight went down to virtually nil. I saw the top of the mountain and I stood on it for a second and then I got smacked down. <laughs>